Hello guys, I can make you happy that there is a new prize game going on where you can win a Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Aero Ozzy 12G graphics card. In order to participate in the prize draw, which will be held on January 1, 2024, you need to become a member of the channel with a minimum payment and follow me on Instagram. As we can see, better days are looming for the crypto world, I informed you about that in the last videos, that we are close to the bull run, but you should still be very careful with investing in real coins. There is also optimistic news from BlackRock as the largest investment fund. Very interesting coins for investment for me are Nurai, XNA, Caspa, Dinix and Nexacoins, for me they are favorites for the next bull run. All those coins can be mined and are thus easier and more accessible. Let me encourage you to leave a like and subscribe and join this channel to help make this channel even better. If you can, with a minimal overpayment, you can help this channel in these difficult days. I hope you are not bored, but now is the time when coins are collected and sold afterwards in the bull market. The bull market is approaching and will most likely be after the halving in 2024. This video explains mining RX 5700 XT graphics card from AMD, which we do in HiveOS system with Nurai XNA coin. Currently very popular coin with good price in this bear market. The current price of BTC is around $38,500 with a tendency to jump. The price of Nurai XNA coin is $0.005172 with a tendency to jump and a big jump and now we need to collect coins because we see that Nurai XNA is in bullish mode. There are assumptions that Nurai XNA can go up to 30x in a bull run and with a very low price there is a lot of room for growth, of course there is also the interesting Nexa coin which is also in bullish mode. Nurai XNA is a very interesting coin with a good team and marketing. News from Coindesk. US Treasury campaigning for amplified powers to chase crypto overseas. A top official has asked members of Congress for new laws to extend the Treasury's crypto reach beyond its existing enforcement and sanctions abilities. The U.S. The Department of the Treasury has been pushing for lawmakers to grant it extended powers to fight illicit finance using crypto. One of the government's requests is for special jurisdiction over non-U.S. stablecoin issuers such as Tether. The U.S. The Department of the Treasury is pressing lawmakers for a new set of powers that would give the government unprecedented enforcement and sanctions authority over the crypto sector, including the ability to roam well beyond American borders and get involved with transactions that don't involve its citizens. Deputy Secretary of the Treasury Wally Adeyemo has lobbied senior members of Congress with a proposal, mapped out in writing, that he called a set of common-sense recommendations to expand our authorities and broaden our tools and resources to go after illicit actors in the digital asset space, according to excerpts from a speech he's set to deliver on Wednesday in Washington. Modes of raising and moving money continue to evolve and many of our authorities have not been updated in decades, according to the Treasury documents sent to lawmakers and obtained by Coindesk. Terrorist groups, including Hamas, use new virtual methods to move, store and abfuscate their funding streams. These methods often include the use of evasive cryptocurrency networks and services, including mixers. Congress should grant the Treasury a new secondary sanctions tool against exchanges that support terrorism, according to the proposal. It could give the government similar powers when targeting virtual asset providers as it's long had over correspondent banking accounts and would account for the technological changes that have rendered highly effective tools in the traditional payments context less effective against cryptocurrencies. Sanctions tool. Adeyemo said it will not only cut off a firm from the U.S. financial system, but will also expose any firm that continues to do business with the sanctioned entity to being cut off from the U.S. financial system. Lawmakers should also beef up the department's powers under the Bank Secrecy Act, BSA, allowing for the targeting of cryptocurrency entities and services that facilitate funding for terrorists, the proposal said. It calls for a new category of financial institutions under the BSA that would include cryptocurrency exchanges, virtual asset service providers, VASPs, virtual asset wallet providers, certain blockchain validator nodes and decentralized finance services, requiring them to meet certain anti-money laundering demands. As the crypto industry has repeatedly argued, many of these entities, such as wallet providers and decentralized finance, DeFi, entities may not be in any practical position to meet those kinds of requirements, and a law could effectively snuff them out. Grayscale gears up for spot Bitcoin ETF, updating trust agreement for sake of operational efficiencies.
The changes involve the fee structure and how assets can be custodied for smoother share creation and redemptions. Grayscale, the manager of the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, GBTC, is updating the trust's agreement for the first time since 2018, according to a filing on Wednesday. The aim is to optimize GBTC's structure for an anticipated uplisting to a spot Bitcoin exchange-traded fund, ETF, and level the playing field when it comes to other applicants such as asset management giant BlackRock. The GBTC update, which will be put out for shareholder vote, involves two proposed modifications to the trust agreement. The first allows fees, which had been collected by Grayscale on a monthly basis, to be payable daily. This is a structural tweak and not part of any type of fee reduction, something Grayscale has committed to, but which has not been finalized as of yet, a company spokeswoman said. Grayscale currently charges a 2% management fee for GBTC, the typical range for firms awaiting approval for spot Bitcoin ETFs is 0.7% to 1%, according to an analyst report by Matrixport. The second update allows assets to be commingled in an omnibus account manner, which will enable a more frictionless creation and redemption of shares, the core processing mechanism of the ETF. This is an innovation comprising part of Coinbase Custody Service. The BlackRock iShares product, along with a number of other spot ETF applicants, will also employ Coinbase custody. Analysts expect the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, will likely approve several spot Bitcoin BTC, ETFs in quick succession. This makes for a febrile atmosphere among applicants, especially since the winner in this race is expected to have a sizable first-mover advantage in hoovering up a large portion of everyday investors. Today, Grayscale has outlined proposed amendments to GBTC's trust agreement that are intended to provide operational efficiencies that we believe are beneficial to both Grayscale and GBTC, a Grayscale spokeswoman said via email. Importantly, this is in our normal course of business, and GBTC remains ready to uplist as a spot Bitcoin ETF to NYSE ARCA upon appropriate regulatory approvals. The amendments will come at no extra cost to Grayscale shareholders and neither are essential to make the conversion to an ETF, the filing said. Shareholders have 20 days from Wednesday's filing to vote on the update proposals. Binance will cease support for its BUSD stablecoin on December 15. The exchange announced earlier this year that it would gradually end support for the stablecoin. Binance said it will end support for its BUSD stablecoin on December 15th, following the exchange's August announcement that it would gradually do so after Paxos, the company that actually issued it, was ordered to stop minting the coin in February. Users will still be able to redeem their BUSD. Binance said it will end support for its BUSD stablecoin on December 15th, following the exchange's August announcement that it would gradually do so after Paxos, the company that actually issued it, was ordered to stop minting the coin in February. Users will still be able to redeem their BUSD until February 2024, Binance said in a blog post Wednesday. However, Binance said it would halt withdrawals on December 31 and any remaining BUSD balances will at that point be automatically converted to FDUSD, a stablecoin issued by FD121 LTD. Bust's current 24-hour trading volume is just under $400 million, according to data by CoinMarketCap. It was around $900 million in August. Binance stablecoin came under regulatory scrutiny in February after the New York Department of Financial Services, NYDFS, ordered Paxos to stop issuing it. Shortly after, Binance was sued by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, for allegedly offering unregistered crypto derivative products in the U.S. and violating federal law. The exchange's new CEO, Richard Tang, who succeeded founder Changpeng CZ Zhao earlier this month as part of a $4.3 billion settlement with the U.S., recently wrote in a blog post that he is committed to working with regulators and ensuring that the exchange complies with American laws. About New Rai The New Rai project was launched on April 17, 2023. The creators of the project are three electronic specialists dedicated for years to IoT projects and who have not found any platform to link this knowledge with the blockchain world. For the creation of Nurai, the Ravencoin code has been used due to its robustness, ASIC's resistant algorithm and incorporating assets into the project. Nurai's mission is to bridge the IoT world, connect it with AI via API or use AI dedicated to ESP32 or RISC-V equipment and then link it with Nurai's assets. New Rai Price Live Data 
The live new rai price today is $0.005165 USD with a 24-hour trading volume of $4,595,212 US dollars. We update our XNA to USD price in real time. New rai is down 0.61% in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is number 2230, with a live market cap of not available. The circulating supply is not available and a max supply of 21 billion XNA coins. If you would like to know where to buy Nurai at the current rate, the top cryptocurrency exchanges for trading in Nurai stock are currently MEXC, CoinEx, and SafeTrade. You can find others listed on our crypto exchanges page. In the end, I can tell you that this graphics card RX 5700 XT showed excellent performance in mining Nurai, XNA. Coinsin is one of the main candidates for the best graphics card for Nurai XNA coins. Nurai XNA is a more difficult coin to mine compared to Nexacoin and therefore the electricity consumption is higher compared to Nexacoin. Hash rate of 17.00 mh and consumption of 85w is correct, but we should wait for the price of the coin to jump, but we should not forget that the weight of the coin will also jump. AMD graphics card that comes with Micron memory, newer generation with excellent performance and low power consumption and excellent hash rate. We managed to tweak Hevios to reduce electricity consumption while still maintaining a good hash rate. Otherwise, the RX 5700 XT has the ability to enable that. Now I can leave you to watch the video and listen to the fun music. Walking alone in the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger step by step The clock is ticking but there's no time for me I've been flying